Hello and welcome from Whitstable on the Kentish coast, about five miles north of Canterbury. Whitstable is best known for its oysters as well as steam trains and there's rumours too that it played a huge part in smuggling back in the day. So what brings us to Whitstable? Well, Whitstable is also well known for its famed high street with independent shops and cafes. It's also known for its very, very Instagrammable multicolored housing as well. We're just on Whitstable Harbour and it's very sleepy here. We've got the people from the lifeboat company just mooching around. We've also got fishermen as well enjoying a hard-earned rest. Of course we don't eat fish so we won't be tucking into the many oyster and whelk stands littered across the harbour but it is cool to appreciate something which really put Whitstable on the map. Look at these, pretty cool. You can stay in a converted fisherman's hut for £75 a night with this for a view. Not bad, hey? First stop whilst we're here is the pub. We've been recommended a place called the Old Neptune. And they serve one of my favourite beers, which is Whitstable Bay. I really, really hope this pub is steeped in smuggling history. You know how I love reading about smugglers. stumbled out of the old Neptune about two hours after we first went in looking for a quick drink. What an incredible pub. We perched ourselves on a barrel in the corner at a pint of Whistable Bay. The food looked amazing. We didn't intend to have lunch there, but they had like a vegan burger and a veggie burger as well. You can't beat that. A nice pint of ale and a nice pub burger and chips. We could have stayed there all day to be honest, which is a big reason why we left because yeah, we could have easily spent the whole afternoon there. Peter Cushing's house. Now we're walking to a place called Sea Salter. Not quite sure what's there, but we've been recommended the walk. I don't know where we're going, but I think it's the way. There is literally no human being for miles around. No one. No, mate. such a rush this morning we didn't actually have time to, to do a little meditation so I think this is the, the perfect spot just here Ready? 
ready? I think this one's my favourite there. Yeah. You spray cottage. Oh, I've just found heaven. Cannot underestimate how fresh you feel after getting some sea air. So we're just in Wednesdays and after this we're going to go back to the park and first try to get in the car and go for the next adventure. We're not quite ready to go home just yet. So this pub is dedicated and named after the legendary Peter Cushing, the actor who is in the old Dracula movies. I think he was in the, the early Star Wars as well, who of course lived here. He went past his house on the wall and it's pretty amazing. It's like an art deco cinema. I guess that's what spoons do best. Lovely pub. See you again.